Hello friends. This is Mr. Analyst and in this video I am going to discuss my analysis on water purifiers. I did ample amount of research and analysis on this topic. I also discussed the same with experts in the field. After doing enough work I decided to create this video. This video will majorly cover two important aspects related to water purifiers. First, basic knowledge and technologies. Second, step-by-step -step buying guide. Let's start with the first aspect, basic knowledge and technologies. What is water purification? Water purification is the process of removing undesirable chemicals, biological contaminants, suspended solids, and gases from water. The goal is to produce water fit for drinking. There are different kinds of water purification technologies available in the market. Now let's have a detailed view of all these technologies used in water purifiers. First is Rho Technology. Rho is an acronym for reverse osmosis, and this technology is used to remove all the dissolved impurities from water like chemicals, heavy metals, and dissolved salts. Now the question comes how this technology works in a water purifier. Here, the water is passed through a semi-permeable membrane to remove all the impurities present in water. The pore size, approximately 0.0005 microns, of row membrane is very tiny that allows only a molecule of water to pass through it, and other contaminants are rejected. This technology requires electricity. Second is UV technology. UV is an acronym for ultraviolet that is used to kill the germs, viruses, bacteria, and other tiny microbes. This technology is highly effective to kill the entire microorganism. The only flaw is that the dissolved impurities cannot be removed by this technology. This technology also requires electricity. Third is UF technology. UF is an acronym for ultrafiltration. This technology is also used to remove bacteria and germs from the contaminated water. The pore size of UF membrane is comparatively bigger than ROM membrane, but it does not allow any virus, bacteria, and germs to pass through it. This technology does not require electricity. The UF technology is not more powerful as compared to RO and UV as they are not able to remove the heavy metals and dissolved salts. Fourth is MAT. MAT in water purifier refers to the mineral addition technology filter. It is used to add back the appropriate minerals like calcium, magnesium, and copper, etc. that is lost during the RO purification process. Thus, as a result, it improves the water quality. Fifth is TDS regulator. TDS means total dissolved solids. In water, the various dissolved minerals, salt, and other dissolved metals like chloride, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, etc., are called TDS in water. The presence of TDS determines the hardness or softness of the water that affects the taste of water. It is expressed in milligrams per liter of water. So, the TDS regulator in water purifier determines how soft or hard the water is. In fact, the row water purifier eliminates approximately all the TDS present in water. So, it ensures the loss of even good and healthy salts like calcium and magnesium from the water. But these salts are good for our overall health. So, it is essential that a certain amount of it must be present in the water. The water purifier with the TDS regulator ensures the adjustment of the purification process as per the source of water. Thus, it provides completely safe, healthy, and tasty drinking water. Now that we have discussed the basic knowledge and technologies for water purifiers, it's time to start discussion on the second aspect, step-by-step -step buying guide. Water purifier plays an important role in keeping your family and loved ones healthy. Hence, before purchasing a water purifier, it is must to go through the buying guide for the same. We will discuss the steps to follow before making a decision. Step 1, you need to ask yourself, 
Do we really need a water purifier? Well, most of you will say yes. That's why we are watching this video. Well I agree, most of us require a water purifier at home. But, it is important to know that, it is not necessity, neither it is required at all the places. In simple words, you can answer this question by testing the TDS level of water provided at your home. To do so you have to purchase a TDS meter and test the TDS level of the water supplied at your home. It cost around 250 rupees. TDS level differs based on the source of water. Let's look at all three possible sources, municipal water, ground water, and water from mixed sources. The illustration here gives a general guideline on the range of TDS, depending on the source of the water. But still I would recommend to test the TDS level using a TDS meter. Step 2, Compare the TDS level against the WHO guidelines. The illustration shows TDS level range with ratings according to WHO. TDS level less than 300 is considered as excellent for water consumption. 300 to 600 is good. 600 to 900 is fair. 900 to 1200 is poor and above 1200 is unacceptable. Step 3, which technology water purifier should I buy? We discussed the technologies part in aspect 1 just to be ready to answer this more accurately. It depends on the source of water and TDS level that you test. Let view the illustration of water sources again. So as you can see here. For municipal water with TDS 1 to 200 parts per million you can use UV or UF technology. If required you can even use both. For multiple sources water with TDS 1 to 2000 parts per million you can use RO, UV, UF and TDS technologies. Your water purifier should have all these technologies. For ground water with TDS 200 to 2000 parts per million you can use RO, UV, and UF technologies. Step 4, what should be the capacity of the water purifier? Normally, for 4 family members 8 liters to 10 liters capacity is good. But, if you have a large family, a purifier with a high storage capacity is better for continuous supply. The right answer depends on the daily consumption of water by your family. You can discuss this in detail with the salesperson, manager, shopkeeper etc. All the steps done. Awesome, now you are ready to buy a water purifier. A humble request to all the people watching this video. For every liter of water purified, 650 milliliters of water is thrown out by the machine. It is encouraged to save the water in a container and use it for cleaning utensils, washing clothes. Please share the message with your family, friends, relatives, and colleagues. Water is an essential part of life. Let's try our best to preserve it in all the best ways we can. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and comment on the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel Mr. Analyst.